So a nurdle is a small plastic pellet. Nurdles are actually the raw material to everything that we have that is plastic. So these pellets are made and then shipped all over the world to factories that then melt them down to make them into water bottles, sunglasses, you know, all the different products that we use on a daily basis. How nurdles get into the environment is whenever they're being unloaded or offloaded from the factory, the little bit spills on the ground. They put them onto rail cars or trucks or putting them onto ships. They fall out on the ground. Even during transportation, they can fly out and they wash up on our beaches. So this is Nurdle Patrol's first stop here. We're at uh, Cox Creek on 35. Now that's a lot of Nurdles. I don't know how many ferries we went over. We must have gone over four or five different ferries. Of course, when we get to Louisiana, we see an alligator. Oh yeah, a few of them. And we actually found a lot of pellets in Louisiana also. Louisiana has a lot of factories right behind Texas. I mean, Texas has the most. Mm -hmm. And then you go to Louisiana, they got the second highest in the Gulf of Mexico. This, right here, is... this was uh, the first place where we did a presentation called Grand Bay Reserve. And uh, it's in Mississippi. And we had a huge turnout. Uh, there was probably 60 people at this place. A lot of people on the beaches, when we got to uh, a little bit more crowded beaches, they would ask what we were doing. And that was a great opportunity to, to, to just tell them everything, where they come from, what they're used for, and just bring a little bit more awareness, one person, one beach goer at a time. These are tarpon coming up I was like, and grabbing fish. <laughs> this is Robbie's Pier. It's famous oh, yeah, for putting in, uh, you can feed the tarpon, and they're like six foot tarpon coming up. Oh, so this is the dry tortugas. This was an amazing experience. You're actually not supposed to take anything from here, but we figured we were picking up trash, right? Nurdles yeah. are trash. <laughs> we, we actually found nurdles on this island. And, this uh, was the first pellet we found yeah. here. And I remember when we found this, it was like, in paradise, they have plastic pellets, you know? Yeah, look, and, and all the tourists were walking around like, what are these? They're like, there's this beautiful beach here, and we're digging around right, in, the, in all the uh, dead seagrass <laughs> on the beach. Uh, yeah, we probably looked a little strange. Now we're looking at uh, possibly hundreds of organizations that are going to be collecting data over the next few years all around the country, which gives us a bigger picture of what's going on mm -hmm. and how we can change policy in each one of those states to prevent those pellets from getting into the environment. So we ended up going 3,000 miles oh, yeah. in a 10 day period. So, hey, we, we got a cheers. Yeah. We got a cheers. <laughs> that was a good trip. Yeah. <laughs> to the Nerdle, the Nerdle Expedition. Expedition. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>